morning, good afternoon, or good night, wherever you are, and welcome back to my channel. So, right now, the puppies are acting a little bit crazy. Leave them alone. It is 11.45, and I just got up maybe like 45 minutes ago, made some coffee, and now I'm gonna eat some breakfast. My brother was gonna make waffles for everybody, but he's still asleep, so. Uh, I might just have some cereal because we got this yesterday. It was on clearance for 98 cents. Gingerbread life. That gingerbread life, you know? So uh, maybe I'll have some of that. But for now, I've got to think about it. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in a little bit. My brother made Death Star waffles. Woohoo! Exciting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this now. Hi guys! So, we are on a return trip. We are going to two different malls, and uh, we're on our way to the first one right now. I've got some reusable bags here um, with the stuff that I need to exchange or return. And hopefully everything goes smooth, but we will see. My friend is also here because he's got some stuff that he needs to return or exchange. And then my dad is here. I'm on a trip of no return. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so we finished round one of exchanges and uh, most of them went smooth. But I had to exchange something at Aeropostale and uh, they it was not easy. Because apparently they don't take returns without a receipt. Like you can't even get store credit if you don't have a receipt. So I had to pick something out like right there and then I had a couple dollars left from the exchange because it ended up not being even and they were like, well pick out something small and I was like, I don't want anything small. <laughs> Can you just take $2.20 and they were like, no, you have to pick out something small. So I was like getting anxiety standing up at the register being like, uh, I can't pick, I'm under too much pressure. So uh, yeah, that was not the best exchange experience but the other exchange was just like I went to the store I gave them the sweaters and they gave me some store credit for it so that was easy now we are off to the next mall for the rest of the exchanges and maybe a little bit of shopping because I got store credit for one of those stores hi guys Woo. so um return trip success uh <laughs> Um, for the most part. There was one thing that I needed to return or exchange that I didn't get to return or exchange, but that's all right. I'll just do it another day. It was, I didn't find anything that I wanted, so. But everything else I will show you guys when I get home. I'll do like a little bit of a return haul. And um, now we're gonna go get some food because it is already like, what time is it? What? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. So, uh, yeah. Snowy. He just likes to say random things during the vlog. <laughs> so it is snowing, he is right, you see. Um, well, it's not actively snowing, but it was snowing earlier. But I think we're gonna go, we're either going to Wendy's or we're going to Burger King, because Wendy's has just good food, like fast food in general. We need something fast and cheap. <laughs> and then uh, Burger King, the Farmhouse King, is so good. I can't remember if I've had it during these vlogs or not, but I'll try to show it to you guys if just we get it. All right, guys, this is the farmhouse king, but I get it with no bacon and no egg. It's tasty. Ooh, it is cold outside. <laughs> All right, guys, um, I wanted to do a real quick outfit of the day now that I'm home. Ugh, my hair, even though it's like the end of the day and everything is all messy now, like I still wanted to do one, but I don't have a full length mirror. So I'm just doing it this way. So I've got this little necklace on that is from Kohl's, I believe. This is the Lauren Conrad collection from Kohl's. It was on sale. Then I've got this orange sweater on, which was from Forever 21, and it's got like some detail down the center, and it shows your shoulders. So I've got that on, and then I've got some jeans from Abercrombie & Fitch, and they are high-waisted jeans. These are the ones that I got for Christmas, if you watched my What I Got For Christmas video. And then these boots are the ones that I kept wearing to the convention, if you watched those videos. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. The shirt was only like $22, no, it was less than that. It was like $11, because it was normally $22, and it was on sale. So I don't think I can get the full outfit in. I just realized that when I do that, you guys are probably looking at me like sideways. It's probably not a good idea. So. 
I'll do it this way. So, shirt from Forever 21, necklace from Kohl's, the Lauren Conrad collection, and jeans from Abercrombie & Fitch, shoes from TJ Maxx, I think, or Marshalls, I think Marshalls. And uh, yeah, that was my outfit for today. Then I am home now, so I'm gonna do a quick little haul of all the things that I got. But I think I'm gonna set up the tripod so that I don't have to hold the camera for this. <laughs> all right, so now that I feel like I'm about to be blinded by this light, um, I can show you the things that I got. So, um, my puppies are scaring me because they're trying to like come over here. I don't need them to come over here right now. <laughs> So this light, um, I'm trying to use the ring light right now because it's not bright enough anywhere in my house for you guys to be able to see what I got. I'm just bringing him over because why not? As long as he doesn't knock anything over. Um, it's not bright enough anywhere in my house for you guys to actually see the things that I got. So I thought I'd try and use this ring light. Um, the only issue is it is so, so bright. Like, ah, uh, it's so bright. Yeah, I feel like it's definitely meant to be used farther away, but this is as far away as I can get right now. It might look a lot further away on camera, but it's actually not. But this is as far away as I'm gonna sit. Stop being nosy, please. He's so nosy. First place that I had to return things to was Aeropostale or Aeropostale. Still don't really know how you pronounce it. I'll say that every single time. So, this is a place where it was really difficult to exchange because um, <laughs> please stop being so nosy. It was really difficult to exchange things because they needed it to be exact if you didn't have a receipt. But I still got some cute things for a good price. So there's this shirt here. And it's just like a gray shirt, but then the sleeves have these cute little like, it looks like lace, but it's not lace and it's white detailing and it's not really anywhere else on the shirt other than that it's just like a normal sweater but I thought it would be cute to wear like tucked into high-waisted jeans or tucked into a skirt so this was supposed to be $44.50 that's normal price for it um I paid well I didn't even pay for it but it was on sale for like nine dollars or something like that so if you think this is cute go out and get it right now because it is on deep discount. Then the other shirt, because my brother did get me two shirts um, for Christmas that didn't fit. The other shirt that I got is this burgundy one because I love burgundy. And it's just like a normal shirt again. But then it's got these little ruffles on the sleeves, like on the shoulders. And um, the sleeves are normal on this one. So this again is just a pretty basic shirt, but I thought it would be cute with like a little necklace or again, tucked into some high-waisted jeans or a skirt or uh, layered with something because it's really thin. So that's all I got from there. Okay, I moved you guys over because Leafeon moved and like messed stuff up. Don't come back through there. Oh my gosh. They're being pain in the butts right now, I'm telling you. So super dry, my dad got me two sweaters. Uh, they were super, super itchy. So I ended up exchanging them because they were like that knit sweater material. Sad thing is, I kind of knew what I wanted to exchange them for, but it was the same price as both of the other sweaters because those were on deep discount because they were at the outlet. So I got this one in exchange for them. It is a ugh, like hoodie with white details. It's got these little white details on the sleeves. It says Osaka number six on it, and it's got white, really thick strings. And it's really nice, like, and thick. And it is also cropped, like it's cut a little bit. It's not cropped like super, super short, but it is cropped to where it'll lie at like the perfect height when you're wearing high-waisted jeans to where your stomach won't show, but it'll still look really cute. So I wanted to wear this for those days when you're feeling like a little more sporty or you're feeling like a little lazy and you don't feel like putting together a full outfit, but you still wanna look cute. That's what that's for. And that was 30% off, but I believe it was normally 50. Hi. Hello. Then finally, I went to Abercrombie and Fitch and I had to exchange two shirts. So in exchange for the shirts that I exchanged, <laughs> um, I got this shirt here, which is just like one of those Henleys, I think they call it. So it buttons up all the way. Nanny. 
she's so squeaky. And it's just a plain shirt without, like, if you didn't see the buttons, it would just be a plain shirt. So um, it is gray and it's gonna be super cozy and nice for layering. This was supposed to be $28, but I believe this was 40% off. It's still kind of a lot, I think, but I, I had to exchange it. Then I got this shirt because I've been wanting a shirt like this for a while now. It's one of those like thermal shirts, but it is cropped and it doesn't look like it's cropped from that angle, but it's like cut at the end and it is actually cropped. But again, it's only slightly cropped because I don't like to show my stomach too much. So um, I like when it still falls below the line of your high-waisted jeans. That way if you do feel like showing just a tiny, tiny bit of stomach, you could just wear mid-rise jeans. But I wear high-rise jeans most of the time. And it it's gonna be a little loose-fitting because it is wide, but this is a size small. And uh, yeah, so it's gonna hit at the perfect level. And I thought, again, this would just be cute for those lazy days, but you can wear it with like a necklace and it would still look like it's a little bit dressed up or um, throw something over it and do some layering. Then finally, when we were at the store, I saw this sweater and it was on a mannequin and I couldn't find it at first. I finally found it and they didn't have my size, but then I checked the size on the mannequin and it was a small. So I asked if I could get it off the mannequin and they gave it to me. So it is this really, really nice striped shirt. It's a sweater, so it's like thicker material. It's got like a scoop neck going on, and it also has these nice little like, the sleeves come in a little bit. They're not, they're not bell sleeves. They're not, it's like skinny jeans for your arms, I guess. <laughs> so they are skinnier and like, they're tighter around the wrist. And it puffs out just like a tiny bit here. And it also comes in at the bottom a little bit, if you can see. And the way it was worn on the mannequin was it was tucked into a skirt, like a jean skirt. And I thought it was the cutest thing. Like, it was it was an adorable outfit. And I was like, I have a jean skirt that's kind of like that, and I'm gonna wear this like that. So hopefully I will be able to, but if not, it still looks really cute just with jeans. And I'm so happy that I have it. It was not on sale, unfortunately, but I felt like I had to get it because it was the last one and I didn't want them to sell out of my size and I had a gift card. So this was actually $58. But if you guys sign up for the Abercrombie & Fitch Rewards Program, you can actually get $20 off of a $50 purchase. So I got $20 off of that sweater. And then the mall that we were at also has like other discounts. So it was like $10 off a purchase of $30 or more. So it worked out and I ended up getting $30 off the entire thing. So I had a gift card for $50 and I only spent $20 of it, which was really, really great. So that is everything that I got for returns and exchanges. Um, if you guys are interested in any of those things, if you're interested in seeing outfits with any of these new items, please let me know. And um, I will do that for you because like especially the items from Aeropostale they were quite cheap so I feel like it's a good way to make like a cheap but cute outfits video so let me know if you guys want to see that and I think that's it for right now like I'm not done yet for today guys don't worry like this is I feel like this is gonna be a jam-packed day because this portion itself is already pretty long but there's more to come because the night has just begun. So I think we're going to play some games tonight and uh, maybe we'll play some dance, just dance. I was going to call it Dance Central. Um, maybe we'll play some just dance and I don't know what else. Maybe we'll make a snack later or something. But my brother has to work tomorrow, so maybe not. We'll see. But if we are not playing a game all together, I will be playing The Sims and I will show you guys my family and my dogs because everything is finally back to normal. So I'll see you guys then. Guys, I turned off the camera and I didn't even remember that I did it. <laughs> it's bad, guys. Memory is getting bad. I was talking to you guys about how I figured out how the ring light is supposed to sit, but I just don't know how to make it sit like that because there's no way to put it on the tripod. But this is how the ring light's supposed to be. So this is how I should have looked the entire the last section that you just saw. But I didn't. 
because I don't know how to set it up right. I have to work with it. YouTuber struggles. <laughs> I also totally forgot to show you guys that I bought some more of these Impress nails because I actually really liked them for what they were used for and I had a dollar off coupon from the Target Beauty Box so I picked them up and these I'm gonna use for New Year's and they've got like these cute little silver detail ones and these are gray and my dress is black with like gold so I thought like silver and gold for New Year's I couldn't find like black and gold ones and I went to two different Targets and these were the best ones so hopefully they work out well I'll probably put them on later tonight Alright guys, so we ended up not playing any games tonight. Um, I'm just here playing The Sims. So I'm going to show you my dogs in the game. So I made these to look like Umbreon and Leafeon. This one's supposed to look like Leafeon. This one's supposed to look like Umbreon. And that's supposed to be me, but it doesn't really look too much like me. I'm terrible at making Sims that look like people, like actual people. But yeah, I'm not home yet. My Sim is at work. Uh, but yeah, those are my puppies in the game, and I feel like I did a good job of making them But you can't really tell because they're so tiny on the screen But yeah, I mean you can kind of tell I worked hard on the coloring Because he's got a lot of colors to him, so I tried to kind of get that in there Let's see if I turn up the brightness if that helps No, not really Alright guys, well I think that's where I'm actually going to end the vlog tonight because I am pretty much just going to be playing this for the rest of the night. My friend already went to bed, my mom went to bed, my brother is out there playing Left 4 Dead, but uh, other than that, there's not too much going on right now. I'm just going to play this for a little while longer and then my brother's probably going to go to bed soon and after everybody else is in bed, I'll probably go to bed too because there's not too much else to do. So, with that, I will say goodbye for this day of Vlogmas, which Vlogmas is almost coming to an end. And I know it's funny to still call it Vlogmas because it's not Christmas anymore, but I'm considering it Vlogmas still. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really, really appreciate it, and I hope that you guys are enjoying these vlogs. And uh, I think that's it for today. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you all back here tomorrow for day 30. I think it's day 30 of Vlogmas. That means we only have two more days left. I'm gonna miss it, you guys. But I think I will still keep doing weekly vlogs. I just don't think I can do daily vlogs year-round. I don't know how people do it. My main, like, video feed has been suffering. I think you guys have seen. But before I go into, like another rant about um video making i will leave it at that and i will see you guys tomorrow for day 30. bye um excuse me why are you destroying things he's trying to eat like my cardboard boxes and stuff because they were the outlet <laughs> nanny so oh, you can actually get When did it stop recording? Wait, why did it get so blue? Mwah.